Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games with our game design, and we are playing more Overland. This guy's got a very stern look on his face, but worry Damn. not, we will survive. Wait, no. <laughs> I was trying to Ron Swanson the camera, but I... No, man. You you, you got you, to me, you, you stared me down. You, you gotta, like, there's gotta be some level of, like, seduction happening in your face, too. Like, it's both, like, stern, serious, I don't think that's intentional, I just think he pulls it no, off. No, no, I think there's a little bit of seduction. It works on me, I mean, what? It's, I, no, I, I don't think, <laughs> I think, I just think that's a natural gift. That's probably true. I mean, part of it's got to be, like, just the mustache being there. Like, because it, it doesn't be. have the beard, too. Well, like, you probably do it with just the beard, too. We've been watching a lot of Parks and Rec. <laughs> that's a couple days. <laughs> that's that's kind of what my guess was. All right. All right, so I went here in hopes of finding a car. This car looks like it might be functional, so we're going to go ahead. Yeah, I don't, think, I, have I don't think I'm now, allowed to but put... only two out of the three? What? Looks like Dean has three life now. Oh, he has. He he unlocked his energetic, because uh, we've he survived for more than a day. Yes. Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and siphon all of the gas out of this car. We're gonna move to this car because I we keep talking about it and we don't really explore what kind of other cars there are on the game. So I was I, like, I've still not seen it at yeah. all. So so I, I wanted to finally like do it. And if that one's broken, then we get to see what happens if you run out of gas and just hoof it. Because that's a thing, too. You don't just die. You have to survive. Well, I know that, you, you like, last time it happened, you just got a car in the next area. That's tr Oh, did it? It did happen in our first run-through. That's right. Yep. I guess just keep siphoning, even though you can't hold anymore. <laughs> Why? Well, because she can just run around and pick it up. In fact, I'm going to move you over here. Yeah, I'm going to move you over here. It looks so much it. farther than you're actually going. Because of the diagonal movement. Oh, yeah, right? That is one of those things that still kind of throws me off on this game. But I, I really don't feel like it's um, overpowered. Which, in most games, it would be. Diagonal movement is a tricky one. To, like, it's it's very important if you're going to allow diagonal movement or not. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that reminds me. One of the other things that um, some of our fans were commenting a lot about um, after our first playthrough is that they really wished the maps were bigger. Like, I think it's 9x9 nine nine or maybe 8x8. Eight eight. I think it's 9x9. Nine nine. Um, mm. But they were saying they wanted, like, you know, 20x20 20 20 and, you know, the ability to actually explore and kind of, like, not necessarily see the whole map in one screen. Um, and I, I have mixed feelings about that. I could... Yeah, I mean, uh, do you... Did you play the... You played the original Binding of Isaac, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. So the original Binding of Isaac, all the rooms were designed to be, like, small and square, much like Zelda-style, like, uh, Link to the Past, right? Mm -hmm. But when they came out with Rebirth, they came up with these huge rooms that you could also run across, mm -hmm. um, like... Both were not a possibility, and the huge rooms offer completely different challenges, and uh, and and different en like different enemies and how they would function and everything like that. It it completely changed a lot of the way the game was played sometimes, and so that would be one of those things to where I still appreciate the nine by nine, but if they also did have a thing where um, it was possible to. Uh, to have those longer, longer areas, like not all of them, just some of them, I could see that being very interesting. It would completely change. Like you would have to drive your car a lot farther for one. Yeah, yeah. My fear with that was ultimately you. You both have to travel farther in order to get things, which makes that much more time for enemies to kind of like collect and pin you down. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, it kind of like hurts some of the design of like. It's a lot harder also to kind of have these environment obstacles that do kind of create blocks. It's a lot easier with with big, more space. It's a lot easier to just kind of go around where there are less is, monsters. Absolutely. Also, if the monsters were generated, let's say that this was extended like another nine, mm -hmm. right? If there were monsters down there, they would all be moving in at you. And so by the time you would get to that portion of the map, they're all in the center already in your way. Yeah, exactly. So this new car is awesome, by the way. 
Uh, um, yeah, what did we get? Way more awesome than I think this particular car was in the build that we played. Also, that was a weird graphics glitch. Um, so, not only is it armored, right? That's why there's these, you know, metal sheets on the doors. That's but awesome. there are three storage spots, which in our starting car, there was one. Wow. So, that's two perks for getting this new car. And we didn't even need to repair it, which is even better. Just got really lucky. Seriously, although this is nightmarish. Oh, these are the mines. So these aren't gonna float around and get us. Um, How do you deal are... with the mines? How do you deal with the mines? You have to throw something at them. Oh, well, there's a stick there. Now, last time, I think we, oh no, these do kind of prove to be an obstacle, I believe. Oh, we can pull them? That's awkward. But I guess that's... Don't mind me just moving this urchin mine out of the way. I mean, if it's what we got to do, it's what we got to do. So this guy's energetic, right? So I'm going to take him, and I'm actually going to have him run over here. And he is going to be my source of distraction. I don't know if we saw this in our first playthrough, but you can find radios. And since these monsters are drawn to sound, we can take this radio and we can either, like have all of the monsters, they'll always go to the loudest sound. So now all of these monsters are going to go toward Dean. Can he drop the radio? He can drop the radio and leave it awesome. on. Awesome. Yeah, it's this, it's hands down one of the most useful items in the game. It's just also the fastest to consume because, you know, if he gets pinned, he's going to want to run down and drop, run out and drop it. Um, it's a last resort item, but it's kind of like a I win button. It, for, it's for like that one scenario. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, hold this. You know, I might actually, because you can drive through the diagonals, I might actually just be able to escape at this point. Um, but we'll see. Poochie, you're not really useful right now, so you can just sit here and look pretty. Aww. I'll give you a stick. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they blew up the mines, too. That's news. Oh. Oh, my. Actually, makes this a lot easier. Can you just drive through the fire? Oh, I do have to move these guys. So I can drive in between these, but I can't drive in between these. It's like enemies blocking passage kind of deal. Yeah. How do you... Okay, so you can just move the mi like mines? Like, you can just drag them out? I guess we're going to find out. You should. Can Poochie... Oh, Poochie can't drag them either. Because Poochie's got no thumbs. Curse your lack of thumbs. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and go here. I guess that's... This, this is the this best song, by the way. <laughs> I wonder if the radio might be causing them more guys to break out. Oh, oh you can get through now. I can get through now. So this wasn't a thing before. I don't think the radio caused more enemies to appear on the stage. So it's really a risk now. It's a huge risk, but I think that's also a really good balance um, because it's just too good before. Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, you just draw all the monsters away, and then you know it. It, it honestly just became a little too easy. Can you turn on the car? Oh, but I can't see how. Mario drive. You know who can't turn on the car? Poochie. Poochie, you're the who's worst. Whose name is actually Marie. Yes, we can get out. Ugh. Done. <laughs> this isn't... I think this is the second to last. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's the... Wow. I didn't actually think we were going to complete it. I thought we were going to take this one a little more casually than our first playthrough. <laughs> All right. I mean, where are we on time? Just about done. Enough time for a question and well, let's, uh, a little less discussion. Well, let's before we jump into the question of the day and before we start the voting thing, let's talk about um, what we saw different in this playthrough compared to the last build that was 16 builds ago. Well, it definitely seemed like the checkpoints uh, in between were more challenging. Yes, they, they, so checkpoints were a lot more challenging. I think um, in general the game was more challenging, um, which in a way made the game feel a little more polished. Um, yeah, because before it, it almost like it was really hard the first time you play it, like very challenging because you have no idea what you're doing. You have no idea how the rules of the game 
the world work. Um, but after like your second or third playthrough of, of Overland, I feel like you know how to kind of abuse the system to make it work for you. Yeah. This time around, I don't feel like I was as lucky with things because I couldn't just go around looting everything. I think, I, well, that that could also be said because you were trying to take advantage of things and realizing you're doing it with the dog, which... Uh, That's true. You couldn't, since you didn't have two people to start with, you had a person and a dog. Yeah. Uh, that kind of changed how that was able to function. So basically, you got like a sub-character. So I think that's the nice mm-hmm. thing to talk about was the dog. Um where you were, you had a person and a dog. When we played through before, didn't you have two people that you started with? Yes, you started with two humans. Yeah, so that that right there is like saying like you have something that can fetch and something that can protect you, but it can't do everything. And because of that, it completely changed the way that you had to uh, interact with that. Yeah, I mean, even the core difference really is that um, I found myself killing more of the monsters this run through than I did in the first one. You know, which is interesting because it's a risk to kill the monsters right yeah. you do it for temporary relief in in return for a long-term uh you know danger yeah and that's actually very good that they did that because you have this character that you're going to use to attack more and because that you have a game that um better utilizes more of the dangers that it it, it um it op- offers i guess now i think really the the main question then is do you think that uh, optimal play style do you think it would be been better to just go and get another human and leave Fuji behind i mean if i had the possibility to do it yes i feel like the first one i would leave behind would be Pucci. i don't think there's enough reason to keep the dog around i mean if that is a possibility because well, how so. many people can you have in your party it, it actually is dependent on the size of the vehicle. You can have as many ah, as you want, so um, if, but the and most vehicles only hold three people. So, like, we didn't see another character that entire time. Granted, you just drove straight through two areas. But. Yeah, I, I actually avoided the spots with other characters because I already acknowledged that I had a full party. I The, the only point in which I start looking for more is when I find a car that can house, you know, four people. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, Pucci did also have, or Murray, whatever. Uh, did also have um, some perks already unlocked for her. So did she? Yeah, she had a uh, fierce and. Um, I mean, that was the bite. The bite, but that was stronger than other attacks, right? Right. It it was at least, you know, it maybe if the base attack is one damage, then it's like one and a half. One and a half, or it could be two, for all I know. But no, because you weren't able to kill two health creatures in one hit. I think that's correct yes pretty sure when you go back and edit it you'll find there was out there was one instance where <laughs> well there was definitely one instance where i couldn't but then there were later instances where it feel felt like i could and so unless maybe she had other abilities that i didn't realize were there was another one i don't know if she had unlocked it already mm. i don't remember but uh so anyway yeah the dog the dog was a big one um i feel like i mean those were the the big ones we saw some new elements that were you know whether those were placeholders or whatever they were um yeah we saw a few more elements so it was it was much more um a intricate this time around yeah yeah absolutely i, I was pretty happy with it actually mm-hmm. especially fun. since i this was my first time jumping back in so i didn't even know what to expect well cool i That's think that can you- take us to the question of the day I hate you so much. What? Um. Whoa. Well, I... What do you? <laughs> no, I mean we'll just make it simple. I wasn't looking since at this you. A... <laughs> I wasn't looking at you. Like, all right, cough it up. Question of the day. Uh. Okay. I mean, we okay. can we can make a general about like. What do you hope to see? Like from from here, because this is the second alpha build, right? Um. Well, I mean, it's technically alpha build one. I mean, whatever. Second time we're playing. Yeah, yeah. It while it's still an <laughs> alpha. So for those who are either watching or actually playing the game, um, what do you really want to see uh, this this game bring? Like what what other um, what other game elements? What other design choices? Uh, do you want to see the designers bring? Yeah, and even what did you see in this build that maybe you didn't like as much, or or maybe has more potential? I, I guess you could talk anything about what's yet to come and what has come since between playthroughs. That's, that's all I got. Cool. Well, be sure to vote on what you want to see next, whether that's more Overland or one of these other games up here in the voting system. And this sucker and I will be playing that next. <laughs>
Well, thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next series. Adios.